300 Spartan, and that's what we call it. And therefore, they, yeah, we have a little lady painted on the side as well. Just so, and, they, and just how, so the air crew know which one to get, get into. Really, basically. How many? Uh, once it's fully fully tanked in fuel, how long can it run before it needs to come back to ship for for restocking? I mean, that's not an easy answer. That depends on so many factors. For an hour or two um, in order to conduct its mission and then it can come back for a very quick refuel and then continue on its tasking. And uh, it carries its own armament, correct? It does indeed, yeah. We have an, an M3M uh, gun on the side um, and we also have a sniper team with the counter narcotics workers um, during their operations for airborne use of force. Um, and one, one of the go fast, those speedboats that carry the uh, drugs from South America to the Caribbean islands. We actually shot its engine out and stopped it racing away from us with a with a sniper rifle. And uh, how often do these um, narco traffickers still use um, cigarette vessels? Um, I'm ba based on your experience, they're, they're slim, fast boats. They're known as cigarettes because they sort of resemble it. I, I have not actually heard that term before. I mean, they do they do use sort of various. That was out, so um, they've got lots of engines on the back and they go very fast and are normally painted blue. Okay, um, just briefly, without revealing too many naval secrets, from launch to return on an S, what, what goes on on board and with the helicopter when you're doing one of your interdictions? Um, so very roughly, we'd put the helicopter up in order to to fly over the um, over the suspect crafts and start filming initially. So we were recording that video evidence for the future prosecution. Um, as they become you know, as we work out that they are definitely suspect, we'd launch our own sea boats into the water whilst keeping the helicopter on task to film it. Helicopter flies a lot quicker than we can go in the ship, so Lancaster will eventually um, come on up behind as well and stay in the vicinity. Uh, the US Coast Guard on our sea boats would then go, would board the vessel, still monitored by the helicopter, and at that point um, they would then make a search and see if they actually had any drugs on board or not. We know we look for um, some volunteers around the ship's company, to be honest, we're never sure. Of that. And, and it's a, you know, in the community project, the exact details I think we could probably expand on because I'm not that excited on uh, what they're exactly going to do, but um, it's very much giving something back um, to the community. And, and you've got some really skilled people on board here, from engineers um, to logistics people. And, and sometimes it's just down to painting and putting roofs on uh, buildings, which is what we've done. Montserrat. Montserrat, yeah. And very much sent um, a team ashore there and they rebuilt the roofs and did some painting and lots of other things. It's little touches, but I think they mean a great deal. And, and we have the spare capacity in our ship's company, so it's not just about enjoying the visit, it's, um, it's about offering something. We've done sport in every island, we've done some civilian work with you, you know, we painted houses, we've refurbished uh, cemeteries um, in, in some of the islands. So we did a cemetery when we were in Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica was, yes. Um, been to a lot of islands, it starts start hard to try and remember everyone, everything we did. Uh, Montserrat, we did a lot of work um, there because you know, it's a very poor island and they're just rebuilding themselves, so we help uh, re uh, to somebody's roof, um, somebody's doors, windows, we painted a hospital, we painted an old people's home, we just helped uh, clean out of the houses as well. Just the Barbados Legion has kindly um, facilitated a, the ship's crew, a working party of some nine chaps to go off to um, refurbish the house of a widow of a World War II veteran. Um, and I think it's in Martins Bay. So um, we will be putting more information up on Facebook about this, but Carl Ford of the Barbados Legion is the officer who's been looking after. So it's actually going to be a joint it's going between to, well, the Barbados the, the Legion. The Legion has facilitated it, um, but um, the, the work is going to be done by the ship's company.